boys, uh, I think we're going to put a little extension on the shed. All right, so here what we're talking about. So if we just came out with a rectangle just coming straight out here and just boom and connected right back to the shed with the door right there, you know, eat least amount of wood, right? But got this little storage bobby deal right here. So, uh, you know, I was thinking more of a come along out here, just sort of maybe right here and then just kind of maybe coming out to here-ish you know, yeah, so that's maybe six feet maybe, and then just coming all the way up here and then coming across and then, you know, give me a little bit more room there. So you probably see my teeth. This is square. This is square within an eighth of an inch, without a doubt. Oh, look at the little kitties. Oh my goodness. You better fucking run. Little babies. Not even on the shot. I mean, not even on the shot. Anyway, this is a square, but it is not necessarily square with anything around it. Like, this was pre-built. That was a dive, a dive platform for a pool that used to be here. And then, I dismantled the platform, left the support posts, built the shed off there. I never even checked to see if it was square. Zero fucks, right? And uh, same thing with this. I just completed it, more or less. Put new walls on it and stuff. So I never checked to see if that was square. I mean, they look square enough, right? Uh, this I did do. It was a son of bitch to get square. Only building I've ever squared up in my life. But it is 100% perfectly square to the building itself. To the structure. It's not a building. But to the structure itself, it is 100% a, uh, a square structure. All right, so you're kind of a measurement's a boring process. That's the, that's the fundamentals of it. I mean, it looks like, well, I mean, you'll bring this one down. I mean, the only way to do it is to play with it. The only way to do it is get your stakes in and then get your, you know, you get some ropes between them. You know, that's the easiest way. You just kind of rope them off. You don't have to... Uh, you don't have to put the string on necessarily, but it's a good guideline. But basically what you're doing is you're connecting your measuring tape to to uh, one stake and the other stake at the diagonal. And you're measuring the distances, and like I said earlier, and then boom, boom, you make sure your distances are square. And you find what that, or the same, and you find what that distance should be based on your length and width and the Pelagorean theorem. Yup, okay, there you go, boring video for you. How you doing? This. This is why I need a shed extension. Oh my goodness. Getting some titty. Getting some titties. Oh, disgusting. 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 Disgusting hopper. Touch you. Touch you. I touch you one time. Touch you one time. Touch you one time. One time. You can jump. Oh. Didn't even get to touch it. You got her all squared up. So uh, I didn't use batter boards or anything because uh, you know it's a simple structure. On this one, I use batter boards and everything, and and uh, batter boards and stakes, and ran my string. And but that was the first time I did it, and I had to play with it forever. This one didn't take any time at all. I mean, so we're running 10, 10 foot from there to there. And 11 foot from here to here on both sides. So we got 11, 11, 11, 11, 10, 10, 10, 10, which uh, with the Pelagorean theorem, length squared plus width squared equals uh, x. And then your x, the square root of x, is your, uh, in my case, it was 221. 
you know, 11 squared plus 10 squared is 221. Square root of 221 is uh, 14.86. So right between 14.8, 14.9, and uh, that's where we're dead on on the diagonal on both. So we're right there. So we are golden, and I only had to move this stake. So yeah. So now we just got to get the tractor. We'll get the tractor and uh, play diggy. Be good.